Okay, this is why you need a normally closed switch to properly operate the tap tempo feature of an external switch on the BOSS RC2 loop station. So if you're building your own tap tempo, you got to make sure that you get a normally closed switch for that tap tempo right there. The ones that you're getting at Radio Shack are all normally open. This means that when you press the push button down, you are completing the circuit. For this one, it's complete right now. And when I touch that button, then that means that the circuit breaks. So, uh, here's what I've got a phrase recorded in here so we can test this out. I'm going to play it back. This is the tempo that I recorded it at. Okay, so that's all that. Notice I hit the stop button and it just stopped. Um, if you haven't written that track to one of those phrase positions, uh, right now it would have deleted a temporary one if you had a normally open push button switch. For normally closed it wouldn't Im immediately erase uh, when you use that to stop. So here I can change the tempo. I'm going to go on two, three, four. So it's quite a bit slower. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit play. And notice, and notice that it plays back and it doesn't stop right away. So I can also speed it up. So it didn't stop right away after I uh, hit the phrase play button. So it's not like it's just giving you a preview. Uh, it's the fact that it thinks that I'm holding down the switch. So if I use both feet, I'm going to attempt to duplicate what happens with a normally open switch that you're getting from Radio Shack. So I'm going to tap the tempo. And when I held my foot down, it stopped. So let me do that again. I'm going to set the tempo. And with my foot still held down on the button here, it stops. Now I can play it again. It's not going to erase the phrase because this one's a, a stored phrase. But if I move this to 5, and I recorded something right now, and then I use this to stop it. Oops. Don't need that. Uh, then it would uh, erase that temporary phrase that I had just made. And that's the other thing. If you've ever tried setting the drum track tempo with this, with your normally open switches. So there, I've set the tempo, and notice it keeps playing. It doesn't stop on me. I bet with you guys, it stops. Like what happens when I press and hold for two seconds. See, it thinks that you're pressing and holding it for two seconds. And that's the problem with using a normally open switch. It, switch. it thinks that you're holding the button down all the time, not off of the switch all the time. So uh, go to DigiKey or Mauser or something and find yourself a normally closed uh, push button switch. Um, you're on your own to find it. I bought this from a supply store locally. So uh, good luck with that.